Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia-Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all-time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Okay, here's the uh, fifth tip in the series of top tips. And uh, we're going to be looking at uh, workflows again. In an earlier top tip, I was using um, uh, texture layers and blend modes as part of an action uh, in my uh, compositing workflows. Now, if you don't have any interesting textures to push in uh, over the top of your images, then we can actually uh, look at the fifth top tip, which is to use uh, the libraries. Okay, now if I open up the libraries panel here, okay, I'll just uh, click on that to open that up. You're going to see that um, uh, I've uh, got a folder of textures. Now, when you open up your libraries panel, you won't actually have these uh, same textures. You, What you need to do is go and search Adobe Stock for them. Now, you don't have to purchase them when you found one. You can just uh, download it to your um, your uh, libraries. Okay, so and you can create uh, as many folders to organize uh, those images in as you like. Now, you're not limited to just using uh, stock images that you find on Adobe Stock Library there. You can actually push your own textures um, simply just uh, with the Move tool, just click and drag a texture over into the Libraries panel, and that will be stored in your Creative Cloud as part of your free uh, storage there. And so you'll be able to access those textures from any other computer uh, as soon as you've logged in. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a texture that I've actually purchased here. That little tick uh, says that I've licensed this. Okay, if you're uh, using any other texture that you haven't yet licensed, you just need to right click if you decide that you want to use that at full resolution without the watermark and choose license image. Okay, so at the moment uh, Adobe are giving away uh, 10 free stock images uh, for you to uh, test this workflow out and see whether it sort of suits you um, and your compositing workflows. Here I'm going to grab this uh, grunge concrete uh, texture from my cloud library, just drag it in and place that over the top. Uh, that was really quite simple and easy. Uh, this uh, diagonal uh, cross there is showing me, it's inviting me to scale this. Okay, so I don't actually want this uh, lower line running through my composition. So I'm just going to zoom out. I'll just do Command minus, uh, that would be Control minus on a PC, uh, so that I can scale a little bit larger. Just click and drag so I can cover the top left. And then I don't need to worry about um, keeping the aspect ratio of this. So I'm just doing a free form resize there and now I'm happy with that I can hit the commit icon in order to commit that now you can see it's below the uh, text layer so I, the only thing I can see is the text now uh, I'm going to actually push this into a blend mode which was uh, another one of the top tips there I'm going to choose the uh, multiply blend mode in order to push this texture in and because the um, uh, opacity of the texture is a little bit too strong for me I'm just going to wind that texture back uh, around about 40 or 50 percent and then command zero to fit on screen um, shows me that um, uh, final composite now you can see on the layer there's a little cloud icon I'll just zoom in so you can see that okay we have this little cloud icon it's actually a smart object but it's telling me the file was resourced from the cloud now if I was handing this off as a multi-layered file to a client um, and they don't have access to that cloud you may want to just uh, right click on the layer and choose a rasterize layer um, so you have that image completely inside of the multi-layered document there so as you can see the um, uh, this uh, libraries feature uh, is uh, is a great way of um, increasing uh, our productivity and our workflow. You can see that I've got a, a number of different uh, folders here. For instance, I have a folder called logos um, so that I've got these uh, vector logos that I can quickly add or access um, by just uh, simply clicking and dragging them. So it doesn't really matter which computer terminal I'm at. As long as I'm logged in um, as a Creative Cloud member, then I'll be able to uh, use uh, that library's feature there with all of my most used images uh, in that library.